seen uh, how the computers are all set up. We have 30 computers with a central server, and the server has 8 gigs of memory and a, a, a terabyte, which is a thousand GB hard drive. And what the server enables us to do is load the, the digital library on one central station. And it gives the students of Gullis University access to what we're, I'll even show you. I'll show you. Okay, uh, over 178 GB of books. That's over 23,000 books that are available to the students at Gullis University. And since it's the premier launch of the digital library, I we haven't had the chance to load the video lectures, which we also have onto the network. And to the side here, we have a, a hidden switch, which has half the network connected to it. And in the back, we have another switch, which enables the entire network to correspond with one another. And if we click the digital library, it's, it's labeled off into sections. So the first section that caught my eye is civil engineering. And if we double click on civil engineering, we have We have 56 files on this one branch of civil engineering, and they're all PDF files, Adobe files. And what's, what's really fascinating about how the system is set up that all the computers are, are, have one central CPU, therefore every computer has access to the exact same files. <coughs> easily readable, easily attainable. Um, just the click of a button and you're on your way. And that's how the, the digital library is. And as you can see, we also have the surround sound, which is gonna help, in my opinion, incorporate the understanding of things because certain students like to hear and see. Therefore, you know, it makes it a lot better for the students and in their learning. And another thing that we incorporated and we've launched is, it hasn't really been set up here yet, but it's gonna be set up as soon as possible. The, the security, because these books belong to the university, therefore we have to make sure that there, there's copyright infringements and that they stay at the university. So what I'm gonna be doing is, I'm gonna be locking the books, each file, therefore I'm, I'm gonna enable the cut, copy, and paste, and the drag and drop. Therefore, you won't be able to move any file, copy, send to a flash, email, any file. It's all going to stay on the central server, and the students won't be able to take the, the books home. So the security is actually is actually very good. And if I'll even show you here, I started installing some of the software. It's called Prevent. It's called Prevent. Hold on one second. Let me just go to it. See, and it actually gives you a hotkey, and you get to you get to pick the key that you want. And I'll just use Control K, and it stops cut, copy, paste, and delete, and it starts up, and it's hidden in the task manager so that the students won't be able to find it. And as soon as you activate it, hotkey save, the paste, you see the paste and the, the, the shortcuts are actually taken out. So you won't be able to copy any of the files. See how the copy, the cut and the copy are taken out and the delete and the rename? You won't be able to move any of the files and they stay secure on the server. And um, welcome to the digital library. I think it's the first Digital Library in Somaliland, and congratulations to Gullis and the students of Gullis. Thank you very much.